Hey, this is Coach Matt, off ice strength and conditioning coach for figure skaters, and this is uh, the workout now. This is the in home workout for figure skaters. Assuming you have zero equipment, here is how you're going to stay strong while you're working out at home. So, I would follow this order in the exercises. There is a logic to this. So, first exercise, we're going to work on the squats. If you do nothing else during this time while you're at home and not at the rink, you can get a lot of mileage out of just doing squats. So if you forget, squat, squat, squat. So I'm going to show you how I want you to do them. So I like doing them with shoes off. My feet are anywhere from hips to shoulder width. My feet are straight. I'm making sure that all parts of my feet are staying down. I'm not lifting the heels. I'm not rocking back. The feet are firmly down. I'm going to keep my hands out. I'm going to reach my hips back, drive my knees out, squat down as low as I can, as long as I stay upright. If you fold, no good, and back up. Down, and back up. Down, and back up. If you notice, I'm going slow. I'm not bouncing at the bottom. This exercise, we're working on strength and stability. We're going slow, we're working on mechanics. So again, feet are straight. I'm pulling a little bit with my tummy, my hands are out, hips back, knees out, shoulders tall, eyes are up and up. Breathing in, breathing out. If your knees are caving in, no good. Make sure they stay out. You will do 10 of those, okay? I would do somewhere between eight and 12. 10 is just a good number right in the middle of there. It's not a magic number, it's just a good number. When you're done with 10, take about 20 seconds. That's your strength stability exercise. Now we're working on power. Obviously, you want to make sure that you're in a good environment to do this. You might need to go outside to do this. We are now going to jump. Now my feet come in a little closer than where I did for my squats. Now I'm just doing a basic jump. So remember, for off-ice jumping, we do not reach our hands up. We bring our hands to right here. Now I'm working on speed and power. I reposition my feet. My tummy is tight. My focus is pointing my toes to the floor, reaching my head to the ceiling, staying tight when I jump. Five jumps. That's it. We don't need to do too many. Each jump must be as high as you can, as quickly as you can. You only have five chances to be, to be the best you can in that jump. We don't want to do 10, 15, 20, because then you'll start getting lazy. We must perform these jumps with as much power as possible. That's why I've limited it to five. That's exercise number one. Squat. Take about a 20 second break, and when you're ready, do your jumps.